good morning dear students let us move on to the fourth module the part one of it is ethics so this this consists of around three videos from which you will understand what ethics is what is professional ethics etc so details topics that we are going to discuss in all these three videos would be the concept of ethics the concept of professional ethics ethical problems provisions of a professional code and role of professional bodies in maintaining the ethics what ethics is so we all know that it is the study of characteristics of morals and as an engineer we have set rules and standards that governs the conduct of each and every engineers we all know that the body of philosophy indicating the ways that an engineer should conduct themselves in their professional capacity is very important as far as engineers are concerned it is mainly because engineers can be a great bless or curse to the society we all know that there are several notorious cases coming up because of the unethical standards that we are following so it is it has achieved a great attention and led engineers to gain an increased sense of professional responsibilities and we all know that it led to an awareness of the importance of ethics how engineers have far reaching impact on the society and especially civil engineers construct and they can also be a destructors also so that is where we are to be very more careful on dealing with our profession here we can see that the major goal is to sensitize us regarding the important ethical issues and to deal it with very very ethical standards otherwise we have to confront those problems so we have something known as moral autonomy that means we have to think critically and independently about the moral issues and we should apply this moral thinking to the situations that arise in our professional engineering practice because many of the times that actions that we do for certain majority would be acceptable to the majority but it may be a curse to a minority so it is better to avoid that and take the majority which are or which are beneficial the actions which are beneficial for the majority need to be chosen so that is why we have something known as moral autonomy so to make our engineers deal or think morally and uh, take appropriate action or decisions we have to learn ethics so where shall we draw a line between ethical and unethical practice so we should always have a team or an engineering team to strike the balance between safety and affordability and simultaneously we should have the ability of any company to sell a product and make a minimal profit we cannot aim for a profit which is overwhelming and that creates lot many profit to a company is not so ethical also so there are certain several examples are in and around the world which does unethical practices and creates more profit so we should not set up such a situation and that is the line and that is the position wherein we are supposed to draw the line between ethical and unethical decisions so the origin of today's ethics shall be traced from ancient greeks especially socrates and aristotle then judo christian tradition these two are the basics for the present western ethics that we what that we see and then comes islam buddhists and hindus indian ethics 
are mostly based on the Buddhist as well as Hindu ethics. So when we follow some ethics that is inculcated in our behavioral pattern so that is why we follow something known as ethical behavior that is based upon philosophies that is formulated by means of law and to some extent we have influenced by certain religions also so it is grounded our ethical behavior are normally grounded on the concern for others we should understand grounded on the concern for others so there is obviously a question whether there is a relationship between ethics and religion so there are people whose uh, ethics are based on religion but those people who are nominally religious may not be ethical also so obviously that is a question mark and the persons who are mostly ethical need not be religious also so that is based on one's character and there are relationship between ethics and laws and engineering and business are governed by laws at different different levels we have international level federal state and local levels but things that are legal might be considered unethical for example we have so many companies which is exhausting their wastes to the atmosphere and it is all legal because we are not exceeding the limits but these releasing of toxic materials and when goes unregulated into the air that is questioning the living beings so which is normally a unethical behavior so according to law as an engineer we are minimally safe if we follow the law but we should be more ethical and should have a base ground upon which we stand and follow the ethical rules by questioning which is right and which is wrong so that is basics of the ethics we have something known as personal as well as business ethics personal ethics is nothing but how we behave with others or treat with others in our day to day life that is confined to the personal issues but there are professional or business ethics wherein choices of an organization level is more given priority than the personal level so that makes the difference between a personal as well as business or professional ethics what do you mean by this ethical problems relatively we know there are situations in which we have correct answers rarely have a correct answer that everyone in a society will come up with because if you take an issue we all know that there may be correct things as well as incorrect things that depends upon how a person deals with that issue so obviously for some persons it would be correct and for some others it would be wrong so obviously there will be a rare to have a correct answer that everybody will come up with and also we know that there are a range of solutions that are clearly right and obviously there are minority which has a wrong answer also so it is it is that is why i told like it is how we assess the situation that is if it is correct we clearly make it uh, right because according to our perception it would be correct but according to the minority that right thing would be wrong so that is obviously a, a question mark to deal with so for some of which and even in this correct answer correct or clearly right we have a better ones also so it is better to follow those rather than adopting all the right things okay and we also understand that there are range of solutions which are clearly wrong to the majority so that we are supposed to avoid now these right or wrong or the ethical problems are assessed based on four ethical theories 
those ethical theories are utilitarianism that word is i shall repeat once again it is utilitarianism the second one is duty ethics and the other side of that duty ethics obviously would be the right ethics and then the fourth one is virtue ethics so we shall deal with this four ethical theories in our next video thank you very much